In this video, we're going to talk about how technology is affecting the online casino industry. Although the online casino sector may not be very innovative, it has expanded significantly over the past year. People started looking for digital entertainment choices as a result of the coronavirus lockdowns, letting this industry truly take off. The reality that more people are switching to the virtual world has definitely changed things, but so have technological advancements. To begin with, there are many means of payment nowadays. If you had two options, getting off the couch, going to the bank and filling out the deposit slip, or just sitting on your couch and clicking on your mobile a few times, which would you choose? Nowadays, people enjoy playing at online casinos because there are so many different ways to pay. Players may now make cash transactions with a lot of ease, thanks to the several payment systems that are now readily available. Virtual currencies like Bitcoin, Litecoin, etc. are also accepted at some casinos. The development of these currencies has altered transaction speeds in general. Anyone can now conduct a transaction in a matter of minutes. The quickest and safest form of payment right now is cryptocurrency. Because of all these payment options, playing games and making deposits at casino sites is already among the simplest tasks. Even the thrill of gambling in person or hanging out with your friends at the casino isn't as appealing as compared to lying in bed. Wow, technology is making us all lazier than ever. Next up, let's talk about how virtual reality is transforming the casino scene. Technology has made it possible for significant advancements to be made in the gaming section of online casinos. We now have unrestricted access to a variety of high-detail games with improved visuals, and these programs now come with more functionalities, improved AI, and excellent audio effects. Could this get any better? We can enjoy a nearly authentic experience through virtual casinos. So, no need to leave your house if you seek the thrill of an awesome casino. Casino. To make it sound more awesome, virtual reality and augmented reality innovations are currently used in these games. Although VR and AR technology in the casino business is still in progress, it's already proven to be among the coolest gaming experiences. One of the key factors nowadays that have substantially raised the appeal of virtual gambling is the accessibility of high-quality games, the majority of which are already highly mobile device optimized. Casino games with high visuals are now available to gamblers as a consequence. We're all suddenly very fascinated by social media because Facebook has joined Metaverse. We can practically wander around a casino of our preference and interact with other players thanks to virtual reality, which gives gambling a new element. Industries that depend on technology like this one must stay on the cutting edge of developments if they wish to maintain our satisfaction. It's unclear what the future will bring. However, one fact is certain. New tech will continue to have a major impact on how casinos operate on the internet. And now let's look at the improved security that technology is providing us. In terms of online gambling, safety is among the most crucial considerations. Due to the prevalence of cyber criminals today, exposing confidential information online is just too easy. Remember what our parents told us about technology taking over? Yeah, that might be a little true. With so much of our personal details available online, should we be freaking out about identity? identity theft? However, technology has had a significant impact on online casino security. We're now guaranteed more secure access in online gambling thanks to improved security equipment, like SSL encryption, RNG, and many more encryption methods. With these measures, it's extremely difficult for hackers to acquire private information about us. As a result, you may now gamble online without worrying about security issues. Thanks to the majority of them implementing these updated security measures, we we can take back our earnings whenever we wish. Finally, how are people addressing the rising interest in mobile gambling? It's clear that technology has had an impact on gambling, because it makes gaming more convenient and always available for us. Our expectations support the necessity for wagering shops to include mobile gaming into their businesses immediately. Casino wagering kiosks are a safe, convenient, and adaptable choice for bookmakers to speed up their consumer offering. With configurable options, such such as the ability to safely attach a receipt printer or cash register, electronic betting kiosks are perfect for these industries. The tablet kiosk has the potential to develop into a multi-platform system. When we enter a casino or wagering shop, we might swipe their ID or have our picture taken to gain entrance. With the help of embedded cash
cash acceptors, we can quickly place wagers on the engaging tablet enclosure to kill time before the actual competition by enjoying one of the various games the tablet has to offer. After finishing, a printer can generate a receipt for us to pay at the desk. And now we have some other news. First off, we have Google unveiling significant measures to alter Gmail spam. The Federal Election Commission FEC of the US received a 15-page report from Google's legal team, seeking guidance on their proposal to exclude political communications from the spam filter in Gmail. The business plans to put up a test program in which spam identification won't apply to mails from political organizations that have registered with the FEC. We would then need to manually mark every one of these emails as spam as they arrive. Additionally, Google wants to inform political parties and candidates about the volume of emails that arrive in Gmail inboxes. Nearly all of us who commented via email and that FEC publicly disclosed were against Google's proposed change to Gmail. Republican lawmakers have earlier protested to the FEC about Google's decision to censor their fundraising emails on Gmail by directing them to spam at a greater frequency than Democrat emails. As per Inc., they viewed this as illegal corporate in-kind contributions. The CEO of Google flew to Washington to pitch the no-spam notion to Republicans after the company refuted the claim. The FEC has increased the deadline for submitting comments in support of or against this proposed plan until August 5th. Secondly, the world's largest autonomous drone expressway will be in the UK. In two years, the UK will establish the largest autonomous drone superhighway in the world, which will be utilized on a 164-mile skyway scheme to link urban areas. As per the BBC, the project is a component of a £273 million financial package for the aircraft industry. Additional projects that are in the works, such as the distribution of medicines to patients in distant areas, will also include drone postal services to the Isles of Scilly and throughout Scotland. Chris Forster, the chief operating officer of the aviation tech firm Altitude Angel, stated that in addition to being utilized for corporate logistics, the drone superhighway will also enable police and healthcare shipments of vaccines and blood. Dave Pankert said that this is about taking an important step approaching that moment. It will create a wealth of opportunities. While receiving 12 million pounds, Skynet will connect the airspace over Reading, Oxford, Milton Keynes, Cambridge, Coventry, and Rugby, finishing it by the middle of 2024. A sum of 105.5 million pounds is being provided by the UK government for initiatives focusing on combined aircraft systems and new car innovations. A clear position of the drone's whereabouts throughout delivery will be possible thanks to the construction of ground-based sensors along the roadway. These sensors will also aid in managing drone traffic to prevent crashes. Finally, customers of the cryptocurrency lender Celsius must wait a long time to learn what will happen to their funds. Customers of cryptocurrency lender Celsius must now endure a protracted and nervous wait to learn how, when, and if they will receive their money back. Following the company's bankruptcy case, making it one of the greatest casualties of the year's crash in cryptocurrency markets. In June, Celsius stopped allowing withdrawals, citing severe economic conditions. This decision sent shockwaves across the cryptocurrency community and beyond, causing a $300 billion decline in the value of crypto assets and cutting off millions of individual investors from their funds. The New Jersey based Celsius network disclosed a massive $1.2 billion hole in its financial statements this week, when it registered for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in New York. Customers should prepare for a rocky ride while they wait for some clarification over what will happen to their money. According to six lawyers who specialize in bankruptcy, reorganization, or cryptocurrency who spoke to Reuters. In response to deposits of crypto assets, crypto lenders grew rapidly during the epidemic, luring buyers with double-digit rates that were uncommon for conventional banks to give. On the other hand, firms like Celsius profited from the discrepancy, since institutional investors like hedge funds compensated borrowers at higher rates to loan the coins. Lenders also made riskier investments in decentralized financial markets. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think the casino industry will evolve even more in the next few years? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.